All right, let's finish up what we once started. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm totally going to catch this Pokemon. Tynamo are very rare. Okay, I'm going to heal my stealth the next turn. Metal Claw is not very effective against electric type. I had to say the sound effects for Charge Beam are a lot better. Okay, most well, definitely use an Ultra Ball because I don't really need, I don't have much time. Three. Hooray! And my friend Michael wanted me to catch one on screen, and I finally found one. So once he watches this video, he will be happy. Okay, Ellie Fish Pokemon. While one alone doesn't have much power, a chain of many tiny ammo can be as powerful as lightning. Thank you. What a coincidence. Let's go up against another trainer. It is time to train again. Drillbur. Hmm. <laughs> Rika. Uh, toad. Thank you. Thank you. Who's next? No, really, who's next?
Pine Hopper. What? Are you serious? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's sad. Poison jab. Again, okay, let's see what it looks like. Oh, that? Oh, that's easy. Poison jab. Potion, let's find some more items. Wrong way, oh my god. That's worth the experience points. Ken, why are you avoiding the attack? Thank you. Sturdy, of course. Shut down my computer. That's all. <sighs> Do I have any repels? No. Oh well. Gotta deal with it. Let's use that bug one so I can make eggs of it later. There we go, as simple as that. I don't care if I catch a tiny on the Pokeball or not. That was easy. I'd be surprised if I found another tiny ammo again. But most likely not, but. A rare candy, how nice. We're almost out of here. Bright powder.
Okay, I know where. I think I know exactly where I'm supposed to go now. Another so I will. Ammo. See you back in the I'm gonna show thing. as many as I want, cause they are not really. They're they're not the most common Pokemon to find in to find in this. Um, they're not really common to find in the Charged Stone Cave. So that's why I wanted to show you the Pokemon. If anybody wants another extra tiny ammo, I have three tiny ammos now. All right. I still have to go against more trainers. This is probably going to be the second half of the video, so... Charge Stone Cave is probably gonna be... a half is gonna be a two-part video. Oh, this Pokemon! This one's actually pretty easy to take out. Um... Another Poison Jab. Yeah, I'm surprised the Pokemon still survived by a poison. I'm surprised the Pokemon survived by a poison jab. Because usually when I was training off screen and I went up against its pre pre-evolved form of Hotini, I always defeat those Pokemon with one poison jab and feign it instantly. Oh, I think I know what that Pokemon is. It's... Oh, darn it. Okay, I'll send out my Dragzilla. It's really strong in its defense. But it has a critical hit, so it probably would have survived anyways. Alright, let's see what else there is. Uh, Magnet, and I'll boost its... boost... It's a drill burr if anyone's wanting to know. What the heck did I find in here? A Ferro Seed? I called it! I totally called it! I totally called it! Just want to get the heck out of here. What in the heck do you even have? A clink again? I mean, seriously. What do you know? What is a clink? In the guidebook. Um, let's show him who's boss and let's send out Dragzilla. Many different values mixed together. 
and the world becomes gray. This is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will be clearly distinct. Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream. That is my dream I must fulfill. Steven, do you have a dream of your own? Yes. I have a dream. You have a, you have a dream. That's wonderful. I'll learn just what kind of dream you have in battle. This Pokemon's probably gonna have sturdy, so it'll survive. Okay, that's it. Joel tick. Slash. Pharisee, stay out. Simple as that. Fisk. Why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I could pursue my ideals with something as meaningless as a battle, as if that could make me worthy to become friends with the legendary Pokemon. Steven. Just a little further to Miss Stralton City. You have good ears. I can't believe you heard Steven's voice from that far away. Steven, who is this trainer? Professor Jr. What are you thinking? You appear to have no qualms about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put Pokemon into categories using arbitrary rules and thinking you can understand them like that. The very idea of a Pokedex revolts me. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my. Looks like you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different from mine, which is equally understandable. How about if all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying I should just follow, just allow people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer? I refuse to tolerate the exercise of a world like that.
Well, I didn't expect him to, to change his mind right away, but I hope he'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll collect a little more data. For Pokemon and people to get along better, we need to take steps to learn about more about them. Good luck with that. Hmm, Steven, I'm going to go with Professor Jumundur now because I am her bodyguard. What bodyguard? Almost out of here. After we get out of this city, we're done with this part. Thank you. Come on. Well, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Black and White, we are going to explore the city and we're going to we're going to be trying to eventually at the end of the next part at the probably at the second half of the next part, we're going to be going against the 6th Jumlio. See you in my next part. Goodbye.